you know, someone uh, reached out to me about that, and uh, uh, you know, shoot, there's uh, it, more of a mentality type thing, you know, than anything. As long as you get uh, one more than the other team, that's the ultimate goal. But uh, just from a, just from a mindset and, and and offensively understanding that that is our job and role, uh, that was kind of where that came from. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> Break down your quarterbacks. I mean, how, how good is this room? You know, I I think uh, the exciting thing is is they're all continuing to get better. Um, you know, I think uh, um, uh, Will's done a great job in in watching his maturation process the last year and even everything he went through last year from preparing, learning from Adrian, competing, being in a backup role, then obviously uh, team calling his number, him being more than ready and, and going out in the way, play, play the way he did, and then kind of watch that perspective kind of trickle down now and him being able to be on the other side of that and give back to the younger part of the room um, has been really fun to see. Uh, and, and how they've all competed, how they've all uh, you know, gotten better, and, and it starts with him. I guess is, is where I was going with that. And uh, you know, I'll tell you what, uh, I've got. Uh, it, it was. A, it's been a really, really, really good competition for that number two spot. Um, you know, and, and Avery and Jake. You know, both like I, I told you guys last time, and I wasn't. Uh, uh, it didn't mean anything by any of it other than just both of them have uh, have, have played really well. Uh, you know, had good camps. Um, you know, it's at the end of the day, I don't, like I said, naming a, a set depth chart is not really even how I feel is the, and Coach Kleiman also feels is, is the way to do that. And we got to have all three of those guys ready to play. Um, you know, we're going to uh, do whatever and, and ultimately focus on scoring as many points as we can and, and obviously doing what's in the best interest of, of the players uh, right, right behind the team on that and trying to predict too many things, it's, uh, that's an exercise in futility on, on that end. So I think both those, uh, Jake and Avery, will both be ready to go. Um, who goes in the game first? Coach Kyle and I will probably talk tomorrow after we finish this week of practice and, and, and see where we're at and how we'll manage it. But uh, you know, excited to see uh, all three of those guys hopefully see some action. Wide receiver? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Is the wide receiver <coughs> game day pool bigger this year? Um, you know, I, I think uh, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll find out. You know, I think, uh, uh, you know, they've, uh, they've all been competing very, very well, uh, the way they've helped one another and, and, and worked together, um, you know, and then, and then hopefully last year we were fortunate to stay healthy, you know, and, and hopefully we're fortunate again this year to do the same thing. So. Uh, we'll kind of we'll kind of see how it goes, um, you know how how it goes past those first three, four, five-ish guys. We'll kind of take it one step at a time, and, and ultimately uh, uh, see how it goes. What's impressed you most about the offense right now, Tom? Well, you know I I don't know if there's uh, um, you know it's it's early I don't, it's early for me to maybe have my mind around that uh, completely. Uh, I I think it's just been with the with the amount of guys that we do have back, how they've continued to push themselves to learn, grow, and, and get better, um, and be able to, you know, take build off a lot of the new pillars that we had put in place from last year, and be able to uh, kind of detail them out, expand on them, use them in some more ways, um, and not not get stagnant. You know, I think that's probably the biggest thing. Uh, all of us, myself included, I mean, this is a new team. It's a new year. It's a new offense, even though we have a lot of parts back. Um, it, going through this year, just just like we did last year, uh, it's going to take some learning for all of us to, to build what this offense is ultimately going to be. And, and when you're in camp and spring ball and all that stuff that we've been through, you're, you're putting those pieces together. You're preparing those pieces. But... Ultimately, it's going to be how you can how you build it from the season with live bullets and 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 uh, you know seeing what we're made of and, and what we really can do and what we can't do. So it'll be a, it'll be a growth process from from their part and, and from my part. A year later, where do you think you're better now as an offensive coordinator than where you might have been last year this time? Um, 
You know, I, I think obviously experience, just like just like from a player's standpoint, you know, your uh, those reps are are valuable. The situations, I think, uh, being able to know and understand, have better foresight of of where to spend some time and what's what's important, and then maybe what was or what's not going to be quite as important, even for myself as I prepare. But um, you know, I, I feel like I'm learning again this year too, and that's I think that's a healthy thing as well. Mentioned this week that he thinks he's a much more versatile back than he was last season. From your perspective, in what ways has he branched out his game? Yeah, I, I think he's. Uh, I mean, we've always known he's had good ball skills. I, I think definitely he's improved as a route runner. Uh, obviously, being around a guy like Deuce through the course of a you know season last year was, uh, you know, I think definitely helped him there. But uh, no, I think his route running ability has improved and, and his ability to. Uh, help us in the past game. Hey, the presence of Deuce Vaughn, you know, dictated a lot of your play calling, but it also dictated a lot of what the defense, how the defense would react to your formations. Any anxiety of going out there with, I don't want to say crutch, but, and also the, you don't know how the defense is going to react to shifts now the same way maybe they did with Deuce. Yeah, no, I, absolutely. And any time you have a, a player like that, there's no doubt that, uh, it dictates a lot of things, and that helps us make decisions, and it, it helps things move forward. But again, I think it's—I think there's a huge opportunity to step up. You know, for for a lot of guys, I think what excites me, you know, as well. Again, as as I've said, I think uh, we had a lot of balanced production last year, even with as dynamic as Deuce was, um, and so I think there will be. Um, Again, an opportunity for a lot of contributors, uh, you know, to help pick up that slack. Uh, with, with game day almost here and the new clock changes being seen across the country, would you say you're more inclined to go tempo after first downs <laughs> than you have been previously? Um, you know, I, I think uh, I, it, it'll be interesting to see, honestly, how exactly how much it affects the game and, and what that looks like if it is – drastic or if it, it is not much. I mean, I've heard, I think, even, you know, a total of seven-ish plays a game, offense, defense, and special teams, uh, some different projections. So it'll it'll be very interesting. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, we've got to run our race. If that's in our best interest, uh, whether it's that week or, or how we're uh, how we're operating at that time, then, then absolutely. Um, you know, but if that's not going to help us at, at that time, then, then maybe not. It's, it, it'll, it'll be very interesting to see how that plays out. How impressive is it that, that Avery has progressed to a point that he can be competing for that number two spot after only being here for six months? It's a credit to him. It's, it's, a, it's an absolute credit to him. I mean, he's, he's worked himself and, and, and earned it. Uh, he's got an outstanding uh, football IQ. And, and knack for, for the game, what's going on around him, conceptually what and why you're doing what you're doing uh, at his age is, is off the chart. And how he's been able to then apply that in a new environment, new system, obviously higher level football than, than he's played before, is, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty special.